here we are at Omar's aged care facility. We're going to visit Omar. Lots of pretty pink flowers. Entrance way. Automatic doors. Good morning. Good morning. The reception desk. Assembly hall, some pretty pink flowers. Look, this is Ogi's photo. And the hair salon. Look at We have some photos. This is Omi's photo. Uh, Football day. Football day. Making lamingtons. Yes. Look at the pictures of old Millicent. Is that rabbit? Yeah. When there were thousands of rabbits in the main street of Millicent. How Millicent was. And the swimming lake when it was filled with lake. people. And my football days in the main street of Millicent. The main street. <laughs> South End Beach. And the bus. And the dining room. Everything nice and clean. Dining room facility. With some pretty pink flowers. In the kitchen. TV. Omi, not in the room. She's not in the room? Yeah, she's not in her room. Not in the room. This is Omar's room. Where's Omi? She might be walking. Okay, we continue the trip. <laughs> Some spare lounges, always with pretty pink flowers. Lover. Okay. Uh huh. Oh. There it is. Kitchen. All the fruit and more flowers. Some nice paintings on the wall. And more flowers. We go this way. 
Here's the view outside. And we'll go this way. And a lovely outdoor setting here. Coffee shop. The bar. An absolutely wonderful spot for people who in retirement can enjoy the last years of their life in magnificent, perfect, clean, happy surroundings with excellent staff accommodating their every wish. A magnificent spot for my mother to grow old gracefully and to enjoy the rest of her life. Uh, I'm very pleased with all of that. We will continue. And we have another little spot again, right here. So lots of little spots where they can just sit and relax. And they've got some fishies to look at. Another seat there. Uh -huh. Look at the fish bowl. And a Claude Monet painting on the wall. And a place where you can do jigsaws. And there's a gentleman there reading the newspaper. There we have. Jigsaws. So here we have Omar. She's walking around in her stroller. And we find her. We found Omar. You found Omar? Here we are, here we have Oma wandering around in her little stroller, her new stroller, her first and only stroller. To get to almost 93 years without a stroller is pretty good. So here's Oma. Hello, Oma. Oh, yay. Little shake of the hand and the head. So you're being filmed, Mum. You're on video here. Omi's famous. So off they go, wandering around this excellent facility. In your room, only. Yeah. In your We found her wandering around. So here she goes into her room. Where's the lights? I think if you wear this on me, we will go out for a walk. So we're about to go for a walk. We're just yeah. looking for something warm for Omar yeah. to wear. Well, to wear. Yeah, just in case. You need that food. Oh, just in you case you need it. it. Well, maybe. We'll just see. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's cool outside. Yeah. We'll take them with us anyway. Let's go. <laughs> I see. Yep. Here. Here we go. So that's how we fold it up. 
we put that in the car. <laughs> uh, Eileen's having a little difficult time. <laughs> yep, like, I lift it like that and then it goes. Well, Mum is nice and comfortable in the car. Hello, Mum. There she is in the car, ready for a drive. Eileen's having a bit of a problem with getting it into the car. Care facility. This is the aged care facility. Just a few hundred meters from the main street. Right. And approaching Millicent's one and only traffic light. <laughs> yeah, Woolworths here. Magnificent Grand Hotel here. Railway track. track was one of the old homes followed by newer homes Now, do you remember this place, Mum? Yeah. Do you remember this place? In 1958, when we came back to Australia, you and Dad came to this old house and you renovated it and you painted it for Tante, Carla, for, uh, uh, Tante Anya and, uh, and uh, Oma Janus to come here with their three children and they lived in that house. That's the very house where you and Dad uh, painted that house inside working with kerosene lamps. I still remember it. I was uh, uh, seven years old. Wow. 
We ja, lived over there. Zijn, ja. <coughs> Toen was Jaap er nog niet bij geloof ik. So that's the house. That's the house that where we lived. That house of that house. This one here. We lived in this house from 1958 until October 1963. And and Omanot and Tanakala lived in the back, in the shed at the back, when they came from Holland. And from here we walked to school and across the road where now we have the high school. That was just a paddock with sheep in it. And that's now the Millicent High School. But we weren't living here when, 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 we, when we went to high school here. And this was the original aerodrome building for Millicent in the 50s and the 60s and the 70s. I remember the DC-3 coming in and Dad getting on the DC-3 to go to Adelaide to bring back a car. And there we have the TV tower on Mount Burr Hill filled with pine forests for the local industry. here on many times and climbed the hill when we were teenagers looking for something to do during school holidays always a lovely bike ride out in the farm the farmlands around Millicent it's a lovely hill to climb of Mount Burr, surrounded by pine forests. Dutch 
bunch of windmill. I'm chewing it off. forest has been cut down. I remember riding my motorbike through that forest back in the 70s. So here we have several of the old Mount Burr houses. Now he does need the old bus path for me. And he came with his head and we are in just a lap of a boundary. Well this is some of the original parts of Mount Burr here Mum. They're all, they're all from the 50s and 60s, these houses. This is, this is old. Where we lived. Arenia yeah, not the house. Arenia not the house. Welke yeah, house? Not here. Ah. veel Hollandse families hier en hij heeft uh, Hollandse snoep en eten verkocht aan de Hollandse mensen in de tijd toen, je, toen kon je dat niet krijgen. We're going back over Mount Muirhead, back towards Millicent in the distance. Classic old Millicent farmhouses. I remember coming here back in the 70s when one of my friends was living here. Stone cut from in the paddocks and shaped. And the farmhouse built on top of the hill 
overlooking the green paddocks. Lots of cows. Mule head in the background, yeah. and these lovely they approach black heifers <coughs> feeding on the green grass. Hello. Hello, Moo Cow. Hello. Hello, Moo Cow. Hello, Moo Cow. Watch the little calves. Yeah. Mm. Don't lose that. 
Apple. 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 Yes, look at that lovely apple. That's it. Lots of apples. Lovely apple tree. In front of the apple tree. Yay. Lovely apples. With a lovely farmhouse over there. Pear tree and the mulberry tree, lots of pear trees, just a classic orchard filled with fruit at the moment. Hi, Hansi, blogger. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my walking in the orchard at the farm. Babalikan po namin yung mga apples namin later. <laughs> It's a classic entrance to a farmyard in the Millicent surrounding area. Old Millicent Railway track. When I was a boy, there were steam trains coming here. All sadly gone. We are approaching the Thine Memorial Hospital, Mum, where we four children were born. Oh yeah, I'm not there. This is it. This is where we were born. In the 1950s. And for two years, we were living in this house in Elizabeth Street in 1954, 55, and in 1956, before we went back to Holland in 1956. Here in the end of 1962, all of 1963, until the house was built in 1964, and then we moved. Transfer for 